Hello and welcome. This is uh, a footage from Lake Cushman in October, obviously, uh, the time date snap shows. So, yeah, what I'm doing in this dive is looking around, looking for trash underneath a rock that everybody goes swimming out here in uh, Washington State at. It's a very popular spot. I got my garbage bag there, just kind of looking for the aluminum cans and various trash that just gets dumped in every now and again because, you know, it, you play near the water and every now and again you you lose some stuff. So um, <clears throat> this algae here you see floating around is just, you know, me stirring up bottom. And luckily this is a very awesome freshwater lake uh, in Washington State. And you can see that log right there, how the, the algae film grows so rapidly because it's relatively shallow in this dive. Um, if you get into shallow waters, whether it's saltwater or freshwater, biofilm happens. Biofilm literally just grows on everything, whether that be, you know, algae, um, macroalgae, you know, kelp, seaweeds, etc. Obviously, fresh water, you're not going to get that stuff. But, yeah, you get algae for sure. And, yeah, it just kind of coats everything. Stumps, rocks, <sighs> shoes, engines, cars, whatever. I mean, if it's in there and it's in shallow enough water where the sun can permeate you through, see, there's a, there's a beer bottle. Uh, yeah, there's all sorts of things that you'll find. Wherever there's people, there's there's going to be some stuff in the water. I guarantee you that. So, yeah, just kind of floating around, playing with my, my garbage bag, making sure I can load up the bat, the bottle, because I was, I was just twisting off the bag every time and trying to throw more stuff so you can spot that bottle right there. So, ooh, yeah, there it is. And, uh, yeah, we just kind of get back to it and, yep, more stuff. Yep, get the bag, dump it in the bag, moving right along. So, yeah, a really good dive, really fun place. Man, I mean, just the visibility. Look at it. You can see the, the light and the sun. You know, it was a little bit windy that morning. It wasn't that bad. It was, it was like a very subtle breeze. So, yeah, that's why you see the sparkling and the light because of the, the refraction from the surface. And this is probably no more than 20 feet deep it's probably more like 12 feet deep if this if that because it was really relatively shallow but you know as well as anybody else that's ever done any kind of diving whether that it's scuba or hard hat or whatever you know there's you should always 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 be aware of the risks of what you're doing and this dive was very simple for me but it's not like i said if you haven't ever done this kind of stuff please 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 don't just jump in and think you're going to go and do this stuff. Really, go take some classes. You know, scuba training is relatively inexpensive in most places. Uh, there's a couple shops here in the state of Washington that are really awesome. If you need, you know, if you want a recommendation, just hit me up and I'll definitely point you in the direction that you probably should go. So, yeah, scuba training, you know, typically go through your open water certification you know, advanced if you really want to get further along in your skill sets you know they there's there's so many classes to take in the realm of scuba that if you want to get into this type of stuff then yeah absolutely you, you know go out there give it a try and see if you like it because working underwater and just having a good time playing around you know like i do you know i i make it look i mean the camera sucks my camera work man i'm terrible i got to I got to work on my camera work. That's for sure. <laughs> Anyhow, oh, gee whiz, look at this thing. Oh, that's shiny, you know. And that's just it. As, as a diver, we all kind of looking, looking in the water. You see you see, you see something shiny. You want to, ooh, I want to touch that. But Yeah, as you can see, surface is not that far. It's probably maybe 10 feet at best here at bottom. So it's not a lot of depth. But there's all sorts of things to consider, so. Just be careful. Go go take some classes and hopefully, you know, get your gear together and, you know, dive with a partner until you can feel comfortable and you're securing your skills. That's literally what it takes. If you're not sure or confident in your skills and, and you take unnecessary risks, <sighs> please don't do that. Just, just please don't. <laughs> so... 
Yeah, look at that tree there. No, yeah, more muck. Let me stir the stuff and make that really pretty. Yeah, no. <laughs> the sunlight, I got to tell you, this is one of the things I really love about diving, especially in freshwater. Uh, the way the light refracts through certain waters is so amazingly calming to me. So even if I don't see anything, I can literally just stare up at the surface, try to find the sunlight if it's a daytime dive. If it's not a nighttime dive, then obviously that's that's not an option. But, you know, you got to gotta enjoy your scenario. And this scene right here is, yeah, pretty fun. Not uh, the most exciting stuff for me, but, you know, as you people are just learning about these types of things and just looking and checking the stuff out. Hey, look at that, a shiny can. Well, you know I'm going for that bad boy. Hello. Hello, aluminum. Thank you. Come again. So, yeah, it's uh, it's a lot of fun, you know, just helping out, cleaning up stuff, because all this stuff that's underwater, it's out of sight. It's out of mind. So, yeah, it just kind of sits there for whenever. See, there's another one. No shortage. <laughs> Anyhow, uh, yeah, there's all sorts of cool stuff, depending on where you go diving and, you know, what you're what your goal is, whether that to be to just enjoy the dive, like literally and imagine going for a walk. Oh, hello. Hmm. wonder what kind of you are. Yeah. Yeah. There's so many cans, so many cans here, but yeah, whether you like, uh, you know, if you want to just go check stuff out, if you just, just think of it like going for a good stroll in the park, if you're, if you really, you know, think you're going to go for like a five mile walk of flip flops, and you're not going to have a little bit of ankle pain or strain later on. You're, you're kind of fooling yourself. But, yeah, if you want to go out and you want to go for, a, you know, a 10K walk or jog or whatever, yeah, you want to definitely wear the right stuff and go have a good day, right? So the same goes for underwater. Just a little more extreme, obviously. Just, uh, yeah, be careful. Be mindful about what you're getting into. You know, really think about. Oh, look, there's another one. Yeah, well, there they are. More. Oh, it's a white claw. Hmm, that's great. Gotta love a white claw. Yeah, thanks, kids. Appreciate the mango. <sighs> Golly. I don't know. You know, I'm not seeing any Guinness around here, are we? <laughs> Surprised I haven't seen a Bud Light or Coors or PBR somewhere. Anyhow, um... <clears throat> yeah, the the thing about diving, you know, is just like you say, you just, if you're going to go out spearfishing, if you're going to go out just to go check out what's on bottom, if you just want to go, you know, stare at sea anemones, like there's so much stuff underwater that you'll never be able to really explain to people all, all the time. You just got to go and check it out. So, you know, I don't mind every now and again shooting some video like this and sharing some of my dives and you know, this is all scuba stuff, so it's nothing like my heart. Ooh, Mountain Dew. There you go. Nice. Nice. So, yeah, it's fun to just kind of be out and about underwater. And like I say, be responsible. Really, just try. Try to be responsible, please. Because I've done a lot underwater, and I'm very comfortable underwater. I, I love, I, I actually get irritated, actually, when I don't get wet for I don't know, once every six weeks. <laughs> so I'm very excited about the spring and summer here in Washington State to get back in the water and just uh, do some more diving and hopefully do some cleanup work and take some take some samples on some uh, other stuff in the scientific community and help with some reef construction later on. But yeah, I think there's a lot of cool things to be done underwater if you really enjoy it. And it is it is very intensely detailed. Oh, look at this film. Ugh, ugh, this, ugh, boogers, ew, it's not muck. Ugh. So yeah, freshwater mute this this algae like that that film. It yeah, it is. Yeah, it looks not appealing, but you know, you get off and you get out and you wash your gear off later because that stuff will leave a smell. I guarantee you that. But you know, you try not to leave your gear in bad bad form because. It is your dive gear, and you want to make sure you can go diving again, and you don't want to stink 
or let you know the your suits break apart or you know your dcs get punctured or your fins fail you or your mask get cracked or whatever you know i mean these all dive equipment should be considered life support equipment if you're going underwater you need all this stuff to just be able to function and if it's not in good standing with your standards then you should really 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 consider evaluating that it's in your best interest if you hadn't guessed <laughs> so here we are more rocks yeah more rocks more roots and trees some old stuff so yeah freshwater in the states of walk in the state of washington and various other places you'll find a lot of um, flooded places where there's a lot of fallen rock and trees tree stumps or old cut forests and stuff or even live forests that just got you know flooded and yeah it's it's fun it's a lot of fun to just kind of look and go huh wonder what happened here you know because uh just like everybody else that loves watching you know forensic files and csi and all that kind of investigative stuff the mystery is definitely uncovered when you go down underwater and you look at it and you can actually see visible indications of all sorts of things so Yep, more boulders, more riprap. Um, this area in Washington State is very much uh, a lot of glacial formations is what made this area. So the geology of the, the rocks. Oh, hey, look at me. There I am, blowing bubbles, going back to surface. Well, have a good one, folks. And yeah, whenever you uh, get into the world of diving or if you just want to enjoy this content, like I say, just please like and subscribe if you don't mind. If you have time, you know, I appreciate it. And it helps me to generate more content like this in the future. And I'm definitely going to be working to get better at video editing and whatnot because I am just relatively a, a babe, baby at this type of stuff. Because I'm just, I'd rather go in the water. It's just my thing. I'd rather be there than, I mean, I really enjoy being underwater. That's my, that's my heaven. It's pretty okie dokie. So, anyhow. Yeah, look at that. Some more stuff. What do you know? <laughs> things and stuff. Things and stuff. Here we are looking at things and stuff. So, well, wherever you're at in the world and whatever you're up to, you know, just have a, do your best. Have a great day if you can, you know, and just uh, relax. Breathe every now and again, you know, just stop to breathe. So, yeah, more stuff over here. Yeah, there's plenty more over there. Anyhow, I'm going to go ahead and uh, stop here, you know, speaking. So try editing some more stuff later. And, yeah, enjoy the content. Take care and have a wonderful day. Take care.